Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to create this boat, it's called Tugboat, it's used to carry the big freighters, like big ships, and it looks basically like this. So I couldn't find a lot of pictures of it, but I could find, I could be able to find these blueprints, and it's basically like this so now I'm going to import this into the 3ds Max and we're gonna start working on this so let's have a look to the pixels and they are 61 95 to 44 04 so let's create a plane this size and throw this image onto this plane And now I guess we need to rotate it. Ninety degree. Let's drop this image into our plane. And I guess we shouldn't have rotated it. We just need to change the numbers. Okay, that's it. Now we need to divide this image into four pieces, and that's why let's reset these segments. So we want full size. Only for, let's move one on each side. Now let's convert it to editable poly, and now let's add our own segments. Let's move it here, and let's add one on horizontal side. Let's move it down like this. Okay. Now we can detach them. Like select this one, choose detach, and we're gonna name it front. This is back. This is top. And this is the left. Or maybe right. Now let's fix their pivot because their all four object has a pivot here. Now let's go to hierarchy and look select a fit pivot and press center to object. Now each object has its own pivot on its center. And that's it. Now let's rotate it. We're gonna look to this object from the top. Let's rotate it 90 degree. Let's move it back like this and let's move them like this and also we need to we need to make sure that they are on same level. Let's see. I will make this part touch my ground right here means I need to make it higher something like this and if we measure this line and it means they are in the same position in the same height and that's it basically now I need to separate them like this and that's it. So I guess we need to rotate them like this. Yes, it needs to be like this way. So let's for now hide this back part and let's pick up this image and bring up the self illumination. Great. Okay, if your image is not looking this sharp as mine, you need to go here to the plus sign 
and go to the configure suite. And here you're gonna raise this pixel size. Make it just like mine and press apply and press OK then. Okay, so let's get started. Let's press G to remove the grid. I guess I need to rotate this 90 degree so that in the front view I'm gonna see the front part of the tag board and now press G here on the left side okay now let's start creating from this part I guess so without the reference images it's not a good idea to start. I think we need to understand how does this model looks like. So I guess this part, upper part is straight. And from this line, it gets a little bit like inside. And like this. And from the reference images, we see the same. Okay, so let's start creating. I'm going to start with the plane. And convert it to it locally immediately. And I am going to press Alt X to make it half visible so that I could be able to see beneath this and beneath this plane. Uh, hold one edge, select one edge and hold shift and drag. Let's try to make the polygon size same. Let's throw several polygons and then fix them all together. Okay, and we know that this part is a front part, and let's bring our model here. Like this. Maybe we need to change the back size. Because it needs to be here. Yes. Now well, let's take it front. Okay. Okay. And it needs to be inside. Let's remove the grid from the top two. means I need to move this a little bit right but I don't know how much should I need to rotate this let's see I copied this plane for the reference and I'm gonna delete this and this after I finish orienting this so let's do like this. Let's make it higher. Okay, let's a little bit left. Something like this. I'm orienting from here to here. Okay. Good. Now I can delete this. And this part needs to be at edge. And that's exactly where it is. Okay. So let's create several big polygons so that it was easy to orient in a 3D space like this. Okay. 
Okay, now we know that this part needs to go exactly to the center. Now let's move it here. Now I guess this front part and this left part is not in the same area. Now let's copy this one and move it here to help to orient our front reference. And this this is our very important parts of the modeling. If you do place these polygons wrong, entire model will be destroyed. Not destroyed like wrong. So I'm gonna orient these parts. And I guess it's okay now. I guess Okay, got this part. This goes all the way up. Was it like this? Let's move it back. Now I think I guess I need to bring it up because it's the front part. Okay. Something like this. Okay, we can delete this one now. Now let's see. We are in the right place. So I need to take this edge and move it here. See, when the lower part touches this line, it means we are in the right place. So take this one here. Uh, select this one, move it here, select this one, move it here, and you. I hope you got the idea what we're gonna do. Okay. It seems like these parts are not right. Okay, let's do something like this. Let's take this and press shift and drag here. And then we But not I guess we created it too with too much polygons. Let's Delete these ones by pressing Ctrl and Backspace. Let's create another one. Something like this. Let's move it up. Okay, and from here we see that we need to move it like here and it's in the right place move it a little bit right okay we can add one more segment here by selecting these two edges and adding connect and let's move it like this, maybe like this. Okay, now let's press select this object and choose symmetry. And let's make it like we want to copy this part to the right. Let's put Choose Z and move the symmetry to right. Like this. Let's see if we are in the right place. Let's move it a little bit left. Okay, good. Good. Border. 
So let's convert to Intel Poly. And now let's create this bottom part. So basically, let's attach this back polygons with bridge. Okay, and now let's select the border with the lower part. And here we just press shift and hold drag down like this. Okay, now we're gonna scale it inside and scale it like this and move it up again something like this okay so this part is ready nearly now i'm gonna try to work with the other parts now i need to correct it from the left something like this okay I guess we now getting a form let's see yeah we're getting a form yes okay now let us uh, create the second part split like third part Move it a little bit down, okay. Now we're gonna select this again and move it down. And this time we're gonna scale it like this. And we go to the left and try to fix it again. So basically we take a vertex, move it like this, and take this one, move it like this. So I hope you got the idea what we're going to do. And I'm gonna put this image in the description so that you could take and create your own boat. Okay. I guess we need to make it bigger, this part. Okay. And as we see, we have something going out from this part. It's like metal part, big metal part, which is this. And it goes all the way here. And this is, you see this part from bottom part here, and it stays underwater. But anyway, we need to model this. Okay, so let's add details. Let's add several polygons for details. Let's try to fix it here. Okay, so we need to add one edge loop here. So we press this one and choose ring. We do the same thing with the opposite side. Ring and we add one connect. Okay, and we take these polygons and move it up. So that it goes all the way up, down like this. okay we also need to add edge loop 
request ring we choose connect and we fix this we take this vertices and move like this we're gonna select this and scale it like this so that it doesn't look like sharp okay so we need to create now this part for this Okay, let's bring it up the upper part and later we're gonna do this so we take this upper border and bring it up like straight now let's fix it from left Okay, let's fix it from here. I think this straight part goes all the way here. Now we need to add one here. Like this. Okay, I guess it's fine now. Uh, we also need to add one more here. Let's add like this and move it here. Now let's fix this vertice. We added this because we need to bring it up this part. Something like this. It's good now. Okay. This part lead needs to go in. We can't see anything here. As you see, this part is up without back side. I mean here. This part goes up, but not this part. And for this, we're gonna select all and press shift and drag inside. We're gonna create a little bit like this. And then we're gonna unselect these edges and bring it up. Again, we press Alt X to fix the vertices. Okay. And we need to move it like this. Something like this. I guess we need to fix these parts. Okay, this part is fine. Okay. Now let's create this front part. We're gonna select these polygons. I think I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger. 
Okay. Also, I think I'm gonna remove this inner edge by pressing Ctrl and Backspace. Okay. And let's select and bridge them. this Let's select them and unselect these ones this part and let lace this part and now press bridge and now let's select this empty part and choose cap to close it okay press cap now let's select this front part let's see from until where we need to select it okay we need to select it until this I guess we need to add one more edge here okay Good. Now, while the polygon is selected, we hold Alt and remove the unused polygons. And now we need to make extrude. Let's press extrude and press OK. Now let's fix it. Close like this. Close like this. Okay. Great. And this part, I guess it gets smaller. So I'm going to select this one and choose extrude. I'm going to select zero and move it by hand. And I'm going to collapse these edges by pressing collapse. Also, I'm going to remove this upper polygon, press delete, okay, so now what I'm going to do is press this edge and see if it goes here, yes, and I'm going to move this part to top, and I'm going to move this edge vertex here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this edge. Let's delete this polygon. Okay, and now let's select this edge. Press collapse. And I'm going to collapse this. That's it. Maybe I'm going to collapse this edge too. Here I'm gonna collapse it all the way down to the end. That's it. Let's see how it looks after we do it reverse mode. It looks not bad. You just need to add some lines to make it straight. Okay, it's fine now. Let's delete turbo smooth. Okay, so let's now add this black 
parts. These black parts are that way basically the cylinders going all the way. And these parts are the big blocks of the rubber so that when it touches somewhere it gets amortized, amortized like soft collisions to create soft collisions. Okay, now let's create the floor. Let's see the images if we see the floor. Unfortunately, we don't see the floor, but uh, we know that we, there is like something like a stair here. It's not the uh, same level. We have something like stair. Let's bring it closer. Okay. We see exactly we have a stair here. Now we. So let's. Give these sides thickness. Scale this. Maybe we just press shift and go like this. And then we're gonna fix these parts by unselecting these ones. And using scale again, but this time opposite side something like this now let's press loop again and press shift to make it down okay now feature we need to make it flat like close this one by pressing bridge doing the same thing here pressing bridge and now let's select these parts these parts and press shift and moving here and scaling like this now let's collapse these two vertices now we see two vertices selected and after we press play, after we press collapse, we're going to see that vertex 291 selected, it means we have only one vertex here. Let's do the same here. Select them and choose collapse. And that's it. We have nice now topology now. Now let's select this border and press shift and drag down and now let's flatten this part by pressing Z no I guess not Z but I mean Y this is like this and now we can close this hole so for doing this we're gonna press control and press polygon to select round polygons polygons around this place and let's hide unselected polygons now we can work only on these polygons so let's select this bottom border and close it by choosing cup okay. now let's connect this so i'm gonna comment stop Choose, select these vertices and press connect. Let's do all the way until the end. Okay, let's stop here for the moment. Let's delete this. Let's delete this one too. Okay, let's see how many unused vertices we left maybe we just connect create four segments here and we connect each one of them together maybe we connect these ones too choose bridge 
and let's press this one and choose ring and let's see how many vertices we have here so we're gonna have four vertices here we need to also have four rectangles here okay rectangle fine now so let's create four four segments and now we can close this gap now let's press one connect this one to this one this one to this one I'm not connecting this because I want here to have a rectangle I mean we need to have four corners polygon and this is one two three four that's why I'm not connecting this if I connect this one it gets triangle that's why I'm not connecting it let's do the same procedure here maybe we scale this a little bit to orient it properly something like this now we can select the polygon again and choose and hide all in this way we have nice topology again good and let's see how it looks like when I press turbo smooth looks cool let's just add edit poly modifier on the top of this and try to create sharp parts so what exactly I want to be sharp so I want this this place to be sharp and the lower part so I press this edge select one of these edges and choose ring and then add connect I'm gonna add two this one to the bottom and one to the top let's make it 95 let's see as the turbo smooth we have nice sharp edge good now let's add another one let's select this and this and let's add chamfer let's make it really small and see we have nice details I guess we have a problem here let's see what's the problem I guess this need yes exactly so we're gonna select this and scale of this okay Let's see yeah now it looks cool we also need to add sharpness here let's select this and choose ring add two connects let's do same with here choose ring and connect good uh, I also want these parts to be sharp but here I guess it's really smoothed and for this I can add chamfers here let's add chamfer and that's it we also need to add one connect here Let's choose this press ring add the connect close to this part mm, good great 
maybe not there maybe we just take this and choose ring move down maybe we just create two and go like this Okay, great. Let's see. Okay, the inner part of this, let's let's get this one, lower part. And let's fix it by pressing Y and moving it down and now I'm gonna fix it these parts okay good Also, I'm gonna put down this. Let's double click and select all of them and then press Alt and unselect this. Okay, good. Okay, I guess it's wrong because I don't want to select all these. So let's select one and choose, press control and try to loop it. Let's press one by one and select. Let's do the same with this small one. Okay, let's press Y and move it down. This way we're gonna have nice and clean topology and sharpness at the same time. Let's see. Okay, good. Now we need to create a cabin. But I don't have any reference images of these parts. All I know is this part is a little bit higher where the cabin is. I guess I need to bring this part up to see how so let's this is, let's do like this. So let's press select vertices inner vertices and just bring it up see how it's gonna behave select these vertices okay it looks good i also need to bring all these vertices up to so just select them yeah modeling part can be boring sometimes but the end result will be always worth it of course if you do modeling properly okay, now I need to move these parts on the knees or maybe yeah let's select these ones let's move it like this 
so that it looks like a stair. And we also need, we're gonna have the winch here. So let's create a cabin. Let's see where the cabin starts. Cabin. Yeah, the cabin starts exactly here. So let's start creating this cabin from a box. So I'm gonna create this box like this. Somehow these parts doesn't get fit. I don't know why. Maybe the front part I need to make a little bit bigger. And also let's select these parts. Scale it like this. Now leave this part and scale it again. Now alt unselect this and scale like this. Unselect this, scale like this, let's unselect them. Something like this. Okay, I hope this time it's right. Select this vertices and move it back and let it front maybe. Okay. Okay. We're gonna come up here and separate this vertices so that it gets smoother result when we turbo smooth it. Okay, that's it. Great, so let's select them. Let's edit it while it's turbo smooth on. Uh, we want this part to be smooth, to be sharp. So what can we do is we just select this one and this one and bring it closer. And it's because it's sharp. Maybe we just take this one and bring it closer too. Okay, now let's fix this part where the vertices is separated and it's because we scaled it manually and there must be something wrong. We messed up, I guess, with some vertices while we were scaling it. Let's scale them down. Okay. okay. Let's select these vertices and scale them down. Good. Okay, let's add one line to the top, choose ring, and add one line to the top. Okay, so we created the cabin, 
And let's place the cabin to the center. Let's hide this tag rod for now. And let's work with the cabin. Let's scale it like this. Okay. Let's convert to editable body. Let's select the front part, front part, and extrude it. Now let's bring it up. And from here, we're going to scale it like this. And let's do the same again. Let's extrude. This scale it again like this. Okay, let's put it down. Hold down. Now we okay. Uh, now we need to add one connect here. Let's fix it to be straight. Choose Y. Bring it up like this. Move this part down. Okay, now we're gonna move it like this. Okay, we also need to create two segments here. Let's select everything, add double connect, Let's move it like this, and bring this top part up like this. Okay, so this back part will go inside like this, as we see in the reference, like it goes here. So this is the front part. Also this parts needs to go inside a little bit like this okay something like this let's select everything and scale it so that it fix fits the blueprint okay so let's see how it looks from the front Okay. okay, so we need to have a three windows, three windows on the front. Okay, so we select this ring and first let's select this upper parts and we're gonna create this top move it up and choose count object and let's change the color to different something let's select these sides and scale like this and like move it down add a little bit also do the same with the front one. Okay, let's do the same with the back side. Now let's add shell modifier to give thickness. Okay. So now let's Add windows so we have 
four windows here. Let's add segments. So let's add one segment, maybe two segments. This one is gonna go here. This one is gonna go here. Oops, and for the window, we're gonna create insets. Yes, now for the three windows, we, I guess we need to add two more. Two more segments and separate them. Yes. Now let's select them like this, 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 and this. Okay. Choose inset, and from here choose by polygon. Okay, now let's fix them. I move it here. So this one this This I guess it's a different model, a little bit different model, that's why it doesn't fit the blueprint. But anyway, now let's try to fix this one. Okay. Now let's create another window, like left and right windows. This time we choose group. Okay. Choose this one and this one. Scale. Now I'm going to fix it. Okay. Let's select this and choose extrude. Remove it inside. Maybe we just delete them. Maybe we just touch them. I don't know. Let's hide this. And also let's select these ones. Okay, let's Add shell modifier and then let's add a thickness mode outer and only inner amount. 
Come and help us. Or maybe we just leave it like this and choose this one and press shift and hold drag back. Also select this one, this one, this one and this one. Press shift and move it to the left. And we go select this, this this and this, press shift and move it left again, okay, we need to remove these ones because we don't need them, this one's two, this one's two, up so that we we could able to see the windows okay let's affect pivot only and scale it like this okay now we can able to see the windows okay so let's fix this with parts for this we'll let's select all the polygons let's isolate okay i guess we won't be able to use this make planner buttons for this because it's different but maybe after turbo smooth it's gonna look cool let's add turbo smooth now and after adding turbo smooth it looks cool we first let's destroy this bottom part select ctrl a and unselect these sides and we have only floor left and let's delete this floor Good. Also, we need to create this back part. Where is this back part? Yes, this part. This is the side which goes inside. So let's select this one. Let's delete this and now let's select these ones also on the side also press shift and drag down let's scale it in so that these vertices came together and press shift and move down again okay now let's collapse these vertices collapse this one too okay now we need to create doors here 
two doors all right so we know i know let's select this polygon scale it in now let's create doors or windows move it down it's okay let's delete this and choose the borders and move it in okay this as a turbo smooth okay it's good maybe we just connect this one to this one to get rid of this line here and connect this okay okay So this is our cabin and let's remove this turbo smooth and end this away. Now we have nice clean topology with the roofing. Okay, let's select this and move down. Shell. Okay. Great. Now let's add the railings. Let's hide this one. Select and create the line which goes all the way here. And I'm gonna create this the easy way. We go edit poly. And we go to Turbos, which looks like so let's go to edit poly and add one more edit poly on top of this. Choose edge and press this one into the middle. Choose ring and create one connect like this. And now we choose while it's selected, we're gonna press create shape and we choose smooth press ok now we can delete this edit poly and after that we're gonna have one spline which is ready and it's smooth already we bring it up let's see how more we need to bring it up something like this let's move back Move it like this. Let's go here. Let's delete this one. Let's move it here. And let's not delete this one and move it here. Okay. And let's move. Let's delete this one and move it back. Let's remove it here and let's rotate it so that it looks like this. Let's do this one Something like this. Let's move this and rotate this. And let's see how it looks like in real life. So basically the output like this. It's 
so like this two vertices and move it inside okay next let's put so let's press and choose it corner so that it gets straight let's choose these ones and make them corner too let's bring it up okay something like this and now I need to make them smooth okay I guess we have two vertices here I need to remove one of them okay let's move it like this let's change it to smooth change this one to smooth too Now let's create a rendering part. Let's move, let's turn these two straight corners to the smooth so that it gets smoothed, smoothed out. Okay, let's give them. Let's make this one corners corner so that it gets straight. Moves. Okay. Now let's add segments. Rotate it like this, 90 degree, or maybe we just create our own. Choose line and remove this stick from the start. And while this one is selected, press here and down. Now we created shape. But I don't know why it went here. So let's bring it up. Like this. Okay, change the middle. Like this. Select these ones and place them correctly. This one.
Okay, now let's do these ones. Okay, so let's fix it so that it gets here. Okay. Now this one. You're gonna copy all the way till the end and then you're gonna fix them. here Okay, let's see. Fix this. <coughs> okay.
and hide the cannon. Now we need to add these two things. I don't know what they are. We also gonna add these brothers. Let's okay. Let's create these cylinders. Let's create the tube inside of this one. Okay, and let's rotate this. Let's remove these segments. Let's turn it like this. Let's adjust the height. Okay. Let's fix this, move it like this, because after turbo smooth it goes back. Okay. So where is our okay? It goes here and it's gonna go here. Good. Let's see. Okay. So it gets attached to the top with these two lines. So let's Convert it to a little poly. Select this one and choose ring and add two segments. Separate them a little bit. Select one and this one. Choose extrude. Choose like this. Okay, maybe. You just select this and choose loop and go chamfer and then select these polygons and choose extrude and choose zero and then move it up by hand like this and then you're gonna need to fix make this planner by pressing y and fix this by hand manual I guess okay now I guess we need to copy this again this just delete the old one okay now we need to create this And for this, we need to create a cylinder, a long one, and put it where it needs to be. Let's make it higher. Okay. Let's place it right there. Okay. And now let's copy this cylinder and scale them down. And now scale them all the way up. Let's do the same here.
something like this. Now let's add the box. Now let's align this box to our cylinder. Let's make it center to center. And then move it here again. Okay, now we need to add this. Okay, I guess this one is fine. Let's press shift and scale like this. Choose copy and scale it here. Let's first fix the pivot and then scale like this. Maybe we need to add some segments here. Choose connect and add like four. Now move it here. Let's select vertices and scale it in. This one's too. Okay, now let's see how many of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one goes all the way up. One goes down. Attach them all together. Select these vertices, scale them. Okay, good. We also need to have this line, which is this one. this up now I convert it to editable poly let's select this let's isolate this and I need to select these ones this one Ring, select, let's control backspace, and now we have this. Select this polygon and extrude it. And isolate. Make it down. Okay, something like this. So now let's attach everything together. Let's fix the pivot. Let's attach. Now let's move this to the place it needs to be. Okay. I also need this fan. Let's see how can we create this. So this is a cylinder. Let's isolate this. Let's 
and look for the cylinder. Okay. See, we have four cylinders, four fun, like four sides. Far fun, it means we need to have maybe eight sides. And convert to editable poly. Select this one and choose bevel. Okay. And select this one and choose bevel too. Extrude it. And delete this part. Now let's create two segments here. And select one from each side and then choose extrude and now select scale and choose this one so it scale them separately and now select local now I'm gonna do this one so let's select like script and 50 and let's we'll select them scale them and make 250 okay now let's extrude again let's extrude one more time and now scale like this And now let's rotate this and see how it happens by local rotate by local okay good let's select these ones rotate them two and okay, now let's select this and make extrude now let's select scale them down I rotate them to the next stages. Okay. Now let's do turbo smooth and see. Yes, it looks cool. We just need to add segments here. Choose one of these edges and press ring and add connect. Make sure that you add two connects and separate them. Okay. And let's scale them locally okay it's messed up already with less don't touch it okay now our fan is ready let's add like these four edges choose ring and add one segment close to this part Okay, good. Let's ring and add details. Okay, good. Now let's end isolate. Align this here. Let's scale it up. And let's rotate this. Let's make it bigger. Okay. Let's make these parts bigger. Let's move it inside. Let's move it right to choose instance. Choose more rotate local and scale it down a little bit. OK, 
Okay, that's better. Good. Okay, let's leave it here and continue in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.